zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, uh, yesterday I sent you an email. I hope you went and saw that. Um, if you haven't checked out that video in that email, I want to encourage you to go back, open up that email, and that way you can see what you missed yesterday. Now, once you get to know me, you'll see that for us, this is not just about selling you a product, but making a difference. Again, we're on a mission to help out the small and medium-sized business community. Um, you know, as, as you know that, you know, all the majority of all jobs out there have been created by small businesses just like yours and mine. Um, an interesting fact that for every $100 spent at a local business just like yours and mine, $45 goes back into the local economy, uh, again, to create jobs. Every Walmart store on average kills 150 jobs, but there's even so much more to it than just the financial aspects. Take for instance, reports show that the number one reason for divorce is money problems, and the number two reason for divorce is neglect due to overworking. So what happens is somebody says, I got money problems, so let me work more hours, which fixes the money problem, but then it just creates another problem, which is the neglect part. And as we talked about in our last video, one of the things that we're gonna help you out here is help you to become more productive and that way you can spend more time doing the things that you want and hopefully some of that time is spent with your family. And so if you look at what a lot of European countries are doing, they're working about half the time that we work here in America and they're making uh, on average about th three to five times more per hour than somebody who has a, holds a job here in America. Now, as you've probably realized over the past few years, the business environment has drastically changed, hasn't it? You know, many experts are now calling this as the new economy. But we've transitioned to what was called as an industrial age society, which is where a lot of you started working, into an information age society, which is where we are today. And so what has happened here is we've gone through a culture shift. The industrial age, the information age are all culture shifts. So the way that we communicate, the way we do things has completely flipped. Uh, they say that this is the biggest culture shift that we've experienced since the Renaissance. And so the way that people are buying is different, and so the way that we have to sell also has to be different. Now, if you look at the start of the 2009 Great Recession, companies were going through growing pains. I know I've consulted with companies that, you know, $2 billion a year company that got kicked off of Facebook, got kicked off of Google. Um, they didn't know what they were doing. They were trying to communicate the same way that they had previously. And using that high pressure, high pitch type of languaging, um, that will get you kicked off of off of the, a lot of these different social networking sites. Buy now, buy now, we're the greatest, we're the greatest. That's not how we buy to, today. That's not how we communicate in a sales message. Now, like I said, some of these big companies hired some of the best and the brightest business consultants, um, but many small businesses were left to figure everything out on their own. One of which, which is one of my business partners, and his name is Al Nin. He's a consultant to Fortune 500 companies. Billionaires pay him millions of dollars for his secrets. Then you also have Paul Gonzalez, which is another one of my business partners. He was responsible for generating over $500 million for the companies that he's worked with. Now, one of those companies, which was a company called Martin Worldwide, which some of you may have bought leads from them, um, but what he did is he took that company from a $5 million a year company to a $22 million a year company in less than 12 months. And then you have the famous Hollywood actor, Vin Diesel, who worked with Paul Gonzalez. He worked for Paul Gonzalez and who today makes no less than $30 million a movie, again, because of what he learned from Paul Gonzalez. And then you have Lisa Johnson and her team, who we talked about in our last video, who's done extensive work with the Small Business Administration. They're really experts at expense reduction. And then finally, and last of all, you have me. Now, the last company I worked for, which was a $400 million a year marketing firm, where we, they would charge between anywhere between about fifteen to about $25,000 for a series of one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. And so what we decided to do is we decided to leave the corporate side of business and work with Main Street business instead of Wall Street businesses, uh, because that's really where we can have a greater impact. Now, because of this culture shift, because of this new economy, you have to be smarter than your competition. So what I wanna encourage you to do is I wanna encourage you to get in contact with Lisa Johnson and her team, who is an expense reduction expert, but they'll also set up a strategic partnership with us uh, because we have an invested interest in you. The better you do, the better we do.
And so a lot of businesses are trying to avoid this culture shift. Now, this culture shift is much more than just technology itself, but again, it's the way that we communicate. It's the value we provide. So because of this, one of my, one of my clients who, was a, who runs a dentist office, and their whole goal was to add 100 new patients throughout the, throughout the next 12 months. But instead, because they provided more value than any of their competitors, what they were able to do is they were able to add about 3,200 new patients uh, to their practice in only about a 90-day period. Now, the way that they did this is by filling in the gaps that their competitors were neglecting to make, either from a technology standpoint, a marketing standpoint, or a value standpoint. So again, I want to encourage you to get in contact with Lisa, Lisa Johnson and her team, and that way you can go ahead and set up a strategic partnership. But uh, I do hope this information was helpful. I had a blast filming this video out here for you today. Again, just look down below directly underneath this video, and that way you can go ahead and get in contact with Lisa Johnson and her team. But take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now.